What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get OctaSpace, the platform, up and running on your rigs so that way you can rent them out and make some money on your computers. Now this is flexible, you can do it on, for example, if you have salad rigs, we're gonna be showing you today how to do it on Windows. So stick with me, it's pretty, it's, it's not bad. If you've done salad before, you're, it's easy. All right, so uh, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna do it with you on a rig that has not been set up yet, so that way you can see the whole process. So um, let's go over here and change my screen. I am remoted into this system right here. Uh, this has a 3060 12 gig along with a 127, or uh, sorry, it has a, oh, it actually has a 12 core 24 thread Xeon. Also, it has 32 gigs of RAM. A little bit different setup than on Salad uh, uh, versus uh, on Octaspace. The customers actually get to pick the machine that they want to use and rent out. So the more desirable your hardware is, the you know you can price it differently. And that's another thing is you can set your own price. So I'll show you how to figure out the pricing and stuff at the end. Let's go ahead and get this system set up. So right now I have nothing running, but this does have Windows 10 Pro. It's fully updated and it has the latest NVIDIA drivers. Um, you're gonna wanna click on the link down below in the description. It is a referral link. That way you go ahead and um, sign in and make a Octaspace account. Um, and you wanna do this before you download and install the Node software. So it, once you uh, go to the login, let me actually log out right here so you can see exactly what it, it looks like. So when you click on that link down below in the description, you're gonna be presented with a sign-in. I'm just using my Google account because I also use my Google account to use Google Chrome Remote Desktop to remote into my systems. Um, so now you'll log in, it'll look like this. Um, the first thing you're gonna need to do is click on your profile and then go over to uh, settings and you need to put your reward address in. So that is your Octaspace uh, address on your wallet. So I'm using one key wallet. Uh, I know Tangem also supports Octaspace as well. Um, and also uh, not a fish, not the main Coinbase, but Coinbase wallet uh, also I believe has uh, Octaspace. So you'll need to put your Octaspace address in there and hit update. You need to do that before you install and run the node software uh, because the node software looks for your reward address and if you don't, it will fail and it doesn't retry again for a little while. So you'll end up like stuck, even though you put the reward address in, you didn't follow that, that series of events. So now that you have an account, you have your reward address in there, uh, it's time to actually install and run the node software. That's also going to be a link down below in the description. So the first one's going to be um, your referral sign up, boom. And then the next one is going to be uh, uh, the node software download link so i have the link right here and let's go ahead and hit enter um yes go to site it'll ask you if you want to leave youtube and then it's just going to download a file so it's the octaspace node manager so we're going to click and run that more info run anyway we can go ahead and minimize this now hit next Bear with me a second. My Chrome is not, there we go. It wasn't responding. Hit next, hit install. We'll let this install and I will do this not live, but real time. So that way you can see how it's actually going down. Uh, because I always hate when I watch a how-to guide and it's like they skip ahead and it's like, how long was that supposed to take? We're gonna hit yes. La and then make sure launch Octaspace node manager is uh, clicked. Select it, hit finish, and then boom, here it is. Uh, I like to go down here and pin this to the taskbar. You'll notice this also has salad. Make sure salad's not running at the same time as your Octaspace node. You will, you will run into issues. Um, run one or the other, but you can use this on a, a salad rig, so you can repurpose a salad rig if it's not getting rented out, which is what's going on with this system. Um, so accept the terms. Uh, it's gonna check all your requirements. You need to have virtualization support. Hold on one second, I'm getting a request from my son. All right, so we're back. Um, just had a you know little uh, event there with my toddler. But um, 
it's only been about, I don't know, maybe two minutes. So it's going to check uh, what version of Windows you're running. You can run Windows 10 or 11. I don't know if Windows 10 is going to be um, supported after uh, Microsoft officially ends official support for Windows 10. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, then you do need to make sure virtualization support is turned on, which that's also a requirement to run uh, Salad. It's for the WSL. Uh, in, uh, and WSL has to be installed, that's installed. And disk space available, I think you need minimum, uh, I think it's like 150 gigs. Once you hit continue, and then you hit install node, All right, then it's gonna ask you, select the disk size for the Octanode WSL instance. Since I'm not doing anything else on this computer, we're gonna max it out. So 302 gigs is what it's gonna allow me out of the 476 gigabytes. And then select your RAM allocation. We're gonna give it everything we can, which is 27 gigs out of the 32 gigs available. So install, we'll hit install right there. This does take a minute, depending on your system. Um, uh, I'll show you the marketplace. That's how I kind of price out my rigs is looking at how people are pricing out their rigs. And I have seen everything from uh, 3060s, 3070s running on, you know, uh, Xeon servers all the way down to Core i3s and Pentiums. So um, obviously having better hardware is, is going to help you uh, to where you can price up your machine. So having more RAM, having more, you know, uh, more cores, but there is a line of diminishing returns. Um, so if you have, you know, the biggest, baddest CPU with a bajillion gigabytes of RAM and a bajillion gigabytes of storage, but you're throttling your, your pay essentially by having a low end GPU, you, you could probably charge the most on average uh, for like that GPU, but not enough to cover like the CPU and stuff. So you still want to, you know, build your systems to be cohesive, if that's a good term. But yeah, so we'll uh, let this thing do its thing. We're cooking along. Let's see how much usage we're getting right now. It is absolutely pegging that solid state drive. Um, another thing that customers can see when they go to rent out your system, they can see the upload speed, the download speed. So the minimum required, there is no minimum requirement. I've seen some systems that say they have 50 megabits up and down, and that's not megabits, not megabytes. But if you have a slow internet speed, that may keep people from renting your system. So lots of variables that go into it, definitely. And there's my son again. Hold on. All right, and we're back. It's been about, I don't know, not even a minute, and uh, we're almost done. So it's uh, configured WSL memory, downloaded Ubuntu uh, root FS, created WSL instance, set up Docker data image, and then install OSN service. So we're almost there. That's the last one right now. So you, it's spooling up a little bit of that memory. Look at that 15.2 gigs currently being used. Bam, bam, bam. I think uh, from what I've seen, a lot of like 3060 based systems are still only allowing like a, or running like a 32 gig RAM setup. Some of them have more, but um, I'll see if I get rented out like this and kind of go from there. Definitely, it is taking a minute. Bam. So I, anyway, and for reference, I have 500 megabits down, 50 up. So my upload is not great. That might uh, dissuade some renters. But I probably will do, or I definitely will do like a, you know, a couple day recap after the fact to show like how it's doing, what it's doing. Go from there. All right, so uh, your token right here, you need, uh, you need to copy your token and then you need to go over to your browser again and go to these four little dots, click on hosting, 
and then go to nodes and click add node. And I have this as my BC farm underneath DC and the node gets pasted right there. And the node name is going to be 3060-12gig-xeon. 12C for 12 core dash 32 gigabytes for the RAM. So that way I know the GPU, CPU, and RAM. Boom, we'll hit create there. It shows up offline because it's currently not running. We're gonna minimize that again, and we're gonna click, okay, I've noted the token. Get started. So let this thing do its thing for a minute. It will start the, I believe, do we have to click start the node? Hold on. Boom. Okay, so you have to click start the node. Um, we'll give it a second and then it will show up on the actual browser. So this is my other rig right there. And uh, this one right here is the one we just turned on. So that's showing up online right now. Still not, not booted up. All this stuff will fill in here in a second. There we go. So online, but you notice it's not verified yet. So it's gonna go through and look at everything, make sure everything's good, and then it'll give you that verified. Uh, let me click on this other system that I have that's already verified to, just to show you what it looks like. So you get a little timestamps of like when stuff's online, offline. That way you can see if, if your rig's actually offline and potentially what time. Um, then you get a uh, public IP version, reliability state, what was it, hardware. So you can actually see the amount of cores, what processor, your motherboard, RAM, and then the GPU. As for performance, it'll tell you what it's actually uh, rated at, like the benchmark score. So the CPU speed is 4,314, download speed 97, and upload speed 23. So my download and upload, not great on that system, but I was also doing stuff on other systems as well on my same network. So we'll see if that holds me back from getting rented also. wonder what my other node shows up as for download and upload. I'm curious. Okay, so it hasn't done all the little test yet um, but we do want to do configuration because we want to figure out uh, we want to set it up and also figure out how much we need to charge let me move my face real quick there we go that's better for now so uh, we want to click we want to offer rental and rendering we do not want to offer a VPN service because I don't have the network bandwidth for that um, that'd be somebody that had like an un unlimited like gigabit connection at the bare minimum um, now we need to go down and click allow run custom images and then we want to uh, give our prices in USD and our base price we can figure out by going over to the marketplace. So this is the marketplace. I'll also include a link down below for that or it's marketplace.octa.space and then you click on compute or slash compute and then you can select or you can type in 3060s and then sort by price. So the cheapest shows up at the top. And right now the cheapest one is in Russia with a 61 megabit down, uh, 71 megabit up, but it's on an i5 10400F, which is a six core, I believe six thread, um, and almost the same amount of RAM, uh, but disk space is only 189 gigabytes. So less disk space. They're charging 2.7 cents and um yeah or no that's poland sorry there's one also in thailand for uh, 2.9 cents per hour there's one in the u.s for 2.9 cents per hour but it's got an old i7 that's only a four core eight thread um, and then it's only got 130 gigs of disk space but it has a really good internet connection so you just have to take that into account i'm pricing mine i'm gonna price mine right at four cents um because it looks like most of the higher core count systems start at about four cents. So like here is a um, 2696, that's a Xeon, a uh, lot of cores, a lot of threads. 
26 gigs of RAM, and it's got 100 down and 100 up, basically 94 down, 94 up, and they're a little over four cents right now. Um, that comes out to, let's see here. About, oh yeah, four cents an hour is what, 96 cents a day? Sorry, I just blanked out there for a second. Anyway, let's set our base rate at that four cents per hour. And you can do storage per gigabyte charge or traffic gigabyte charge. I'm gonna leave that alone right now. Um, it looks like most of these places, like he left his traffic alone, um, but he also added more fee for the, uh, the gigabytes. So that's how it adds a little bit there. I'm just gonna do it all off of the base rate and they can use whatever they want. Then select all node availability Monday through Sunday. I guess if you were gonna use your computer and you were doing it on your main computer, which I don't suggest, you could turn it off or turn it on only on days that you're not gonna be using it. So click save settings. There we go. It went through and if we go back to configuration and refresh it, it should all be there. Bam, now go back to overview. So verification failed, let's go to the details. So it's still running the test. Don't, don't be upset if it says failed right here for a while. Give it 10, 15 minutes um, and then it'll, it'll finally let you know everything. Uh, yeah, see it's still running all these tests and then I'll give you a score for that afterwards when you're done. Now we're gonna go back here and you'll notice, um, yeah, my other machine is just idle. I have that one set at four cents. I just got that one up and running as of like an hour ago. So I'm gonna let these bad boys sit probably overnight and see if they can catch a job. If they can, great. If they can't, I might back them down on price just a little bit. I think the biggest thing hurting me is my internet speed. I got good solid systems with good CPUs, good RAM, good storage, and you know a decent GPU for an AI, like a budget AI um, situation, but yeah. So I am also gonna be throwing together some ultra budget, like junkyard build kind of things because I'm curious to see over on the marketplace, hold on, do they have, is there like a 2060s on here? Uh, 2060. Wow, there's a 2060 Super for 2.9 cents. That's crazy. What about 2070? 2070 for 12 cents an hour, 13 cents. That's that's not or that's 5070. I don't see how these are renting out. There's no way possible. 3080. 3080 for four and a half, five cents, five cents. It goes up from there. 3090. Start at about eight cents and then go up from there. Nine. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming out, ladies and gentlemen. So now that you know how to get Octospace up and running on your systems, I would love for you to comment down below. Uh, did you do this? Did you come back to this video? Uh, or I would like if you would come back to this video. Let me know what you're running, if you were able to catch any jobs. Uh, if you're making any money, that kind of thing, because yeah, yeah, that's about it. So I just found out about this and I got to give credit where credit's due. Let me see here. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Um, I found out about this through our boy Alpha Mine. Here we go. Right here. So... If you, if you would, please go give my man Alpha Mind some love. We'll get subscribed. And hold on. Thank you, bro. You made it so easy to get going. Bam. So give him some love. Make sure you subscribe to him. Uh, solid channel. He's got some, some good rigs going. Good information. And with that being said, I'm going to jump off here. Y'all have a good one. Adios. And his link will be down below in the description as well.